guys, welcome back to another Surviving Mars episode. Today I'm going to be helping you with some terraforming tips. Now, I'm going to be going over at the end of the video some terraforming thresholds that you need to sort of know because they can sort of screw over your colony. Sometimes they can really help and just in general they are really helpful to know. Now, one of the main problems I've seen on social media is people are asking how to get your vegetation so high. Now, this is a sort of old save and um, I've went back and reloaded a save where my vegetation is 95% and I've got a rocket coming back from an expedition that's going to get me over 100% now at the top of the screen you've got your atmosphere, temperature, water and vegetation as you can see three of them are at 100% already we're waiting on that 5% then that is our planet pretty much like Earth so one of the main tips I highly recommend doing is You've got your four station plants, people think they're extremely slow. Now I have about nine or ten in this whole colony and to be honest I still think it goes extremely slow regardless of having your atmosphere, temperature and water at 100%. My initial sort of thoughts were if I got them to 100% you know the vegetation would increase but no it didn't. Um, it, it was extremely slow and I had to try and find another method to get that up quicker. So one of the main things I've noticed is going into your expeditions. Now what you need to do this for a prerequisite is to have a rocket already landed on Mars. Now as you can see I've got three rockets here ready to rock and roll. They've been fueled and they've already got rare minerals already on it as well so they can go back to earth if they really wanted to so if you open up your menu and go into planetary view and bring this map up one of the main missions for vegetation is clicking on cloud seeding now if you don't know what this does already it triggers rainfalls what can improve local soil quality to help plants life now that is one of the main things I totally helped as you can see I've got tons of trees it's just made my whole sort of colony look a lot better it sort of looks like earth to be honest and um, another main one you can do right so I'll send, I'll send this one just on an expedition now as you can see I've got three rockets ready so we're gonna send one away so this requires 20 polymers and 80 fuel which is not a problem as you can see I've got tons and tons of stock ready to rock and roll now we'll bring that menu up to the planetary view again and the main definitely the best mission on this game to get vegetation up is seed vegetation now I can start one of these as well but basically what this does is transports a lad, large payload of seeds to spread green algae lichen and more complex vegetation on the surface of Mars so we'll send another rocket out right now and this usually requires a hundred seeds and 35 fuel now you might be thinking a hundred seeds every single time you do this mission now it gets it up five percent every single time so you could think oh well that's a lot of seeds that's like 20 missions to get up to 100 percent which is quite a lot so what I've done you could maybe implement this into your own colony if you have the space or the resources to do so now I have got a dome right here and it's got farms in it it has 14 farms in it now I've stopped producing seeds at the moment because as you can see I've got a whole storage over here full of seeds and pretty much every four station I have on this I have a storage right next to it just so my drones can use it super handy and my shuttle hubs sort of transport it and you can sort of see like the yellow storages all over the map so if you were to build one of these domes and build 14 hydroponic farms and just produce seeds you'll end up with tons of seeds like me as well now I, as I said I've stopped producing seeds because I'm struggling for food at the moment um, as you can see I've built tons and tons and tons of food productions um, because I was mainly concentrating on seeds unfortunately I had a population of 2100 and most of them died um, but nonetheless we've started um, allowing them to give birth again we've opened up some domes now 
terraforming thresholds is one of the main things you need to look at as well. Now you might be playing this game, you might be AFK and something happens and you're just totally clueless to what happened. So here's some thresholds that you mainly need to know to get those percentages up. So temperature of the planet, if it's above 25% you would get liquid water. Now if you were to build lakes these are going to be frozen over, you're going to have to raise the temperature of the planet to make them into water. Once you get your temperature over 50%, cold waves end, which is absolutely amazing. Atmosphere, over 50%, blue skies appear. I don't know if I can actually show you that now. Uh, we'll go into photo mode, free view, time of day. And there we go, blue skies. Beautiful. So, again at 50% atmosphere, dust storms end. I had a really bad problem of dust storms. Um, it was right over here by my mo moisturizers. Oh, wrong way. Um, I had a really bad spawn area that always spawned here. So that stops. At 80% atmosphere, meteor strikes stop as well, which can devastate your colony. Vegetation over 30% there's a vegetation boom at 60% as well and 90% there's a vegetation boom which helps out your colony. Now if you get your atmosphere at 25% and your temperature at 25% your colony starts toxic rains. Now these can be devastating for your colony as well so if you've got outdoor farms for instance if you've got the soil quality right up this farm would get contaminated and not actually make any food. Same with if it gets into water, it can wreck the land. Um, at 95% atmosphere and your temperature above 50%, you are now got a breathable atmosphere, which means you can collapse these domes to what they are now. So people can move freely and as you can see the domes can just go from dome to dome. And there we go, that is my rocket came back. And we've got vegetation to 100%. Hence the fireworks. Once you get temperature above 20% and water to 10%, you sustain grass. So you can start growing grass from your four station plants. When you get temperature above 30% and water to 20%, you can start growing bushes. When you start getting your temperature above 35% and water over 35%, you can start growing trees. And 75% of temperature and water, you can do mixed trees, which totally help. As you can see, there's tons of mixed trees here and I've been growing them. So when you get your atmosphere to 40% and your temperature at 40% and your water to 10%, you will start getting clear rain which will not affect your colony, it won't harm them and it will help the soil quality of your sort of food production and your main sort of colony so that it will grow a lot easier, your trees, bushes, grass, it totally helps. Toxic rain does not stop there though guys. It will stop at 55% atmosphere, 55% temperature and your water above 5%. Now those are like the main thresholds for terraforming and you need to be aware. I'm going to put them down in the comments as well because you're probably thinking I've just blabbered out tons of words there and you've not got a scooby of what I've said. Now that is one of the best ways to get vegetation up. Like I said guys, um, just send out expeditions. It's one of the best ways. As you can see, I'm at 100% on everything and I can still send out expeditions if I wanted to. That one's still currently going out. But this one here is loading right now. We are waiting on two more fuel, which are now in the rocket. And that is liftoff, guys. So I'm going to be leaving this episode here. If you guys want to comment down below, let me know what you thought about this video. If you want any more tips or anything about my colony, Leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you've enjoyed this guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You'll be helping me out a lot and I'll see you in the next Surviving Mars video.